Now the latest advances in treating congenital heart disease in patients. University of Minnesota is leading the way when it comes to cardiac care. And here to tell us a little bit more about it this morning, what they're doing for both children and adults, is the U's Dr. Cindy Martin. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. You're celebrating a very special anniversary coming up in March. University celebrated uh, and performed the world's first pediatric congenital open heart surgery. You said the first open heart surgery, right. basically. And so, and that was in the 50s. 1954. And now things have changed so much from them yeah. since then. So in 1954, Walt Lillehei really performed the first successful open heart surgery. And what was amazing about that is they used a technique called cross circulation, where the parent actually served as a bypass machine for the child. Mm -hmm. um, and so with that surgery and other advances, it really changed the life expectancy for these patients. Because before that, it was less than 30% of these patients were able to survive into adulthood. And now with our modern treatment, there's more than 90% of these patients patients are uh, living to be adults, mm -hmm. um, but they still have their congenital heart disease. So right now the, the, the center at the U is really treating boomers. Exactly. And, and, and down below. But So when they come in, what are they tracking their, their heart disease through the years? Or? Well, unfortunately, no, and that's mm -hmm. a big problem. There's many of these patients who actually kind of felt that they were cured or they had mm. their procedure and they didn't need to be followed up. It's, it's actually estimated that less than 50% of these patients actually continue cardiac care, and less than 10% of them are seen in a specialized center, which really mm. understands their needs and can be able to look and hopefully predict some of the complications they may have and then prevent them to greatly improve their quality of life. What would be some of the things that would be predicted as a result of having the surgery? Sure, earlier? so it kind of depends on what they had. Mm -hmm. but a lot of the procedures, it's very common that they may develop irregular heart rhythms that they mm -hmm. may or may not know about. And in some of the other situations, some of the complications may recur, so they mm -hmm. need to be, need to be readdressed if it comes with like coarctation or narrowing of one of the main blood vessels to the heart. Um, and then some of the other patients will actually develop heart failure um, because a lot of the, in those diseases, the heart um, has been damaged or wasn't uh, made to pump in this certain position and so some of those things that we have to look at. All right, thank you so much for joining us. We're really appreciated. I know baby boomers who are watching might need to come see your clinic. That's right, we'll be there. All right, thank you so much. For more information about the Adult Congenital and Cardiovascular Genetic Center at the University of Minnesota, check out our show page at care11.com. You can find our link under the local tab.